Serena Wegman's England will be looking to win the Women's World Cup for the first time this year. While the Lionesses are big favourites for the tournament, they face a tough route to the final. They will be without Leah Williamson for the tournament after she ruptured her ACL during Arsenal's clash with Manchester United back in April. In her absence, Chelsea's Millie Bright has been named captain. The Lionesses began their World Cup campaign with a 1-0 win against Haiti in Brisbane. They then followed that up with another 1-0 win, this time against Denmark. Wegman's side defeated China 6-1 in their final group game to finish top of Group D. Here, male sport breaks down England's possible path to the final, round of 16. After finishing top of Group D, they will face the runners-up of Group B, which was Nigeria. The two teams will go head-to-head -head at the Stadium Australia on Monday, August 7. The Lionesses will certainly fancy their chance against the number 40-ranked nation in the world. Nigeria's highest finish at the tournament came at the 1999 showcase in the U.S. when they were knocked out in the quarterfinals. Randy Waldrum's side finished runners-up in Group B on five points, one behind group winners Australia. Their only win of the tournament came against the Aussies, winning 3-2 in the second game. Nigeria's other two group stage games ended in 0-0 draws against the Republic of Ireland and Canada. Quarterfinal. If England beat Nigeria, they will face the winner of Group H or the runner-up in Group F in Sydney on Saturday, August 12th. Group F contains France, Jamaica, Panama and Brazil, while Group H includes Germany, Morocco, Colombia and South Korea. France secured top spot following their 6-3 win against Panama in their final group stage game. France, who were unbeaten in the qualifiers, have reached at least the quarterfinals in the last three World Cups. As for Brazil, they will not be playing any more part in the tournament following their shock 0-0 draw with Jamaica. The South American side finished third in the group, one point behind second place. Jamaica, who finished second, will face Colombia in the round of 16 after the South American side finished top of Group H. Hervé Renard's France side are set to face Morocco for a place in the quarterfinals. Germany finished third in Group H and were knocked out of the tournament after suffering a shock draw to South Korea in their final game. The result means that the Germans have failed to make it out of the group stages for the first time in their history. Semi-final England will be looking to reach the semi-finals of the tournament for the third time in a row. Should they reach the last four after heading through as group winners, they could face the runner-up of their group, Denmark, or one of Germany, France and Brazil. Australia could also face England in the last four, providing they defeat Denmark and then win their quarterfinal match. Final. The Lionesses will be looking to reach the final for the first time ever at this year's tournament. Their best achievement came back in 2015 when they finished third in Canada. It is likely that Wegman's side will face USA, who are chasing their fourth World Cup title in a row. Spain, Sweden and the Netherlands are three teams who are also capable of reaching the final.